Hey everybody guys, what's going on? I was informed I need to record right when I got on the server, so I have no idea where the fuck I am on the server, but you know, yeah, um, not quite sure what the fuck's happening, but uh, Rose said to record, um, okay. Bad for that bullshit. Um. Um. Okay. Um. Okay then. Why did, mm. Does she really want me to mine this whole thing? Oh, there's the, the sign here. Um. God damn it! Uh, I'm gonna show sure my phone's on. God fucking damn it! I'm gonna cut back to when I mine all this shit. Okay, I'm not sure if um this is the stuff or not. Um, I don't know if this is like the prize or what this is. I'm guessing this is the prize? Oh, wait, there's a chest. Um, okay. Holy shit, she went in depth with this thing. Um, okay. Um, a book and quill with it. Uh, okay. Why is there just a book and quill? Um... Um, it's kind of interesting. I'm sorry she doesn't go with stone, but um, okay. I get. I need to go mine all of this, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be doing this stuff. Um, so yeah. But uh, thank you, Rose. That was awesome. Really awesome. And this episode is probably gonna be based mostly with her anyway. So sweet. This will be an interesting intro to it. But uh, yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Half Against MP, and enjoy this episode. Hey everybody guys, Half Against MP, I haven't recorded this in like, a month or something. But, I'm gonna bring this back to some other stuff, there's a dog barking in the background, I'm sorry. Um, but, oh my god. One. Notifications go off. Anyway. So, for this episode, I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, I made this for uh, Rose when she was feeling really young. Oh my god, what is my... Okay, <laughs> Okay, controls. This is like really high. Okay, that's better. Um, I'm probably just gonna go mining or something, cause why not? You know. Um, but I'm decided I'm gonna tell you guys the wristband story, which is uh, why I wear my wristbands and stuff, because I don't think I've ever really talked about that. Um, if you know I'm a player model, I am wearing a bit of wristbands. You can't see it. Okay. Um, we. <laughs> Okay, then we, we need to go back over to an area where you can actually kind of see what I'm talking about. But if you haven't noticed on my player model, I'm, um, I'm always wearing wristbands. That's the thing. That's a signature thing of mine where I wear wristbands all the time. This is not the right way, I don't think. Okay, then. <laughs> it's so weird. I just got done playing um, Aspire, so it's kind of a... I legitimately just got done recording Aspire, so that episode is also going up today. But, um, as you can see, I wear wristbands. This isn't even, like, nearly... Is it R? Yeah, it's not even nearly, um, how many I usually wear. I actually have nine on my red arm. And, as you can see on this one, um, you can see, like, little lines there. That's, uh, writing that I always have on my other arm. So, those are two things that are always a thing with me. And I'll explain the wristbands, because that's a lot easier to explain. Um, so, I forget what, uh, actually, like, sp spiked my interest in it, but, um... I remember 
um, my f what was it that really sparked? Um, yeah, my friend like a year ago, a little bit over a year ago now, gave me a wristband, and it was just a uh, my green and blue and black one, which is my eye colors, and I thought it was really cool. Activated. Okay, then interruptions. Anyway, so one day my friend decided to give me wristbands, or like maybe that one wristband, and because of that, it was um kind of symbolic, and it reminded me of like something that she did for me, and it kind of signified her signified her signified her um so that was a really neat thing i do have torches to get good um but then that kind of originally started what became my collection of wristbands um i mean uh and then i think eventually i found the because me my brother and my sister all went to um chicago comic con which was a fun little four or five hour drive for me at least for them it was like an hour drive um but we went to Chicago Comic Con and I found the wristband for that, so I taped it. And then um, the wristband that's on the bottom right there, like not on not underneath the colored one, the rainbow colored one, that's the one that's always like the first one in my lineup of wristbands. Um, I might include a picture of my wristbands and stuff so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about for uh, when you see them, because there are some new ones added since then. And um, they do always get swapped out and stuff, but um, that symbolized when I went to. Um, when, uh, just like my family and everything, that signif- that, that one wristband significant family. So I had my, um, my blue and green and black one for my eye colors, that signified friends, and then I had my, uh, my other one which signified my family, which I thought was, like, really, like, symbolic and everything, and I'm a very symbolic person like that. Um, um, I got, like, other wristbands over time for, like, my mom and stuff, but eventually, like, I lost them when I went swimming or something, so it kind of sucks, but, um, but yeah, so I had stuff like that as well. But um, I'm just going to go down the list now of other ones that I have now. Um, underneath that is the one when I went to Florida, which is the one that's right here. But not like that. But it's a spiked. And um, Rose made that for me for, um, I think, five month anniversary, I guess. And she made me that. And that's lava. Okay, cool. No. Um, so I always keep that one second because family and her are like the two things that uh, mean the most to me. So, um, I kind of do what, by, like, what means the most. Um, my third one down is a one I just got today. But it signifies, signif I can't talk, uh, signifies, uh, like, a close friend that I have. And, um, yeah. So, um, I, she had, like, part of a necklace and she's like, here, you can take, like, extra bit for the necklace. So I made that into, um, like, I wrapped it around my, um, hand twice and I made it into a wristband. Um, underneath that one is a yellow wristband that I used to have on my other skin. I still do wear it though. Um, and that's another one that's seen on Five's Friends and that's uh, one of my really close friends. Um, she was the one who played um, Killing Floor on my channel for my, for my friend plays. If that that sh video should be in the description. I need to make more inventory space so nope, nope. And uh, I can okay, get that. Uh, oh, probably that. <laughs> Yep. How would you be a good boyfriend? Forgets about stuff your girlfriend did for you. Yep. Um, tech messages. So many text messages. But uh, yeah, that seemed to high Serbia. One day she came out to me and was like, here's a wristband. So I'm like, cool, thanks. And um, yeah. I had another one from my friend Sarah, but um, I, I think that like broke off or something. I kind of lost it. So uh, I'll need to ask her for a new one. She makes them usually, so uh, she's really nice. Um, the f next one is, um, uh, it's, it's usually, uh, my one from when I worked at the fireworks store. They had, uh, these ar uh, Go Army wristband things. They said to give them out to customers, and I'm like, oh, can I take one? They're like, I don't care. So I got that from that. So that kind of signifies, um, like, work, I guess, and, like, the friends I made while working at that store. Because I did actually make a lot of friends working there and didn't have fun at working at a store like that. Hey, Diamond, sweet. Um... What's another thing? Screw the shovel. Screw the sign shovel. There. But, um, the next one is my... What is it now? The next three. Oh, God. Um, those are ones from... My first ever from my friend plays, uh, she played Minecraft. Um, her, her mom is uh, battling cancer, and I thought it would be nice for me to buy the wristbands. So, um, I bought some wristbands each like two dollars each so i spent like six dollars on just wristbands 
just to be nice. And um, they're not really symbolic at all. I just like I, I just like having wristbands, so I kind of that's another reason to it. It's like actually just wearing wristbands in general. But uh, that's why it, that's like one of the only reasons why I wear that. And those are probably gonna be swapped out once I get out different wristbands. I just like having a big number of wristbands on my arm all the time. So um, yeah. Um. Yeah, and then uh, we're back to the green and uh, my eye color one, like which I said is how it all started. But um, yeah, that's like the wristband story, and um, I might as well go into depth on what says on uh, my wrist right there, because I don't think it's ever really been like. You probably notice it in like videos or something, or you notice like in videos. Um, you might notice in the like, the vlog videos I did when I was in Florida that um, I had something written on my wrist all the time, and right now. What's always written on my wrist is, um, you probably see it in like other episodes, which is hashtag hey Rose, which is the ship name for me and my girlfriend. Um, I have that, I always have that written on my wrist with a little heart underneath it. And then, I knew that recently I have, um, the quote, save the girl, get the world, or, um, save the world and get the girl. And, um, I don't know, I've always felt that kind of symbolic too, because it just, um, like how many times I thought I'd be like, do something nice for someone else. And just what it is to be nice to other people, and what, you can, and how some people just try to always have something nice happen to them after they do something nice, which isn't really right. Um, which I could have just wrote "pay it forward," but it also has some other meaning. But it's more um, kind of personal stuff, so I'm not really going to go into it. But um, I always have that written down there too, because <laughs> that's also a kind of big thing for me. But um, yeah, those are just some of the things about me that might not have been with the people might have like noticed but haven't really said much um i guess i might as well talk about the last one which is um there's always an x on my left hand which is um straight edge i'm not old enough to get a tattoo yet sadly but and i don't think i'm gonna be getting a straight edge tattoo right away i'm gonna wait a little bit but um um i really i don't think it's right for um this is like the first time i think i'm ever going to mention this on my channel but um let's uh, the reason why i decided to be straight edge is because um my mom lost her memory to uh drinking and smoking and not eating and she had a mental lapse and um because of that i really didn't want to go down the same path or even like attempt like just even tempt it so i decided to like say no to everything like that so I don't do um, drugs, I don't do alcohol, I don't do anything. I am like, yeah, I'm that person. And um, a lot of people really don't understand that. But um, like I have um, my TA for uh, school, like which is a teacher assistant, and um, I'll have little kids asking me about it and I know they won't understand, so I'll just be like, it's a long story. Like I had that question after today. A little kid came up to me and was like, why is there X's on your hands? I'm just like, uh, long story. And just kind of walked away, but um, yeah. We don't know what straight edge is, it's, yeah, like I said, just not doing drugs, alcohol, um, abusing sex, or anything like that. Also cave. So, that's new. This is it. Oh, hey, diamond, sweet. Okay. Um, but yeah, just uh, some little facts about me. So, I hope you enjoy. I'm sorry there hasn't been a lot of videos recently with, like, Havoc or anything, but, um, I'm gonna try to get back on that now. Today there should be three videos. There should be my 150 or 250 subscriber special, which I can't thank you enough for. Um, but yeah, so thank you everybody for everything. You guys are my world, and I can wouldn't be here without you guys. There's been moments where I just didn't want to do this anymore, or like I have doubt in myself, and um, because of people I've met through YouTube and everything, like uh, my girlfriend and everything. It's just amazing. They help me through it every single time. Um, like I said, there's a lot of like moments where I just did not want to do this anymore. I didn't want to continue doing something I legitimately love. And there's times, um, like, um, if you guys didn't know, I do get paid from YouTube, but I don't like flaunt it because I know it's like really nothing. But I will technically say it's a job, and I will get um, hated on for it from people who like work in fast food or something and like I've had people come up to me and just say why don't you get a real job and um like I'll make like kind of smart comments back to them like I think uh, one person when they were working on subway um someone asked me about that 
and I'm just like, well, once you, I think I said, oh, once you get a real job, then I might. But um, they didn't really take that too kindly. But um, yeah, I'm really hoping I can actually make this a full time job eventually because I really do love doing this. And um, yeah, but um, there's gonna be a lot of new changes with my channel. Um, if you haven't noticed some of them already, then um, I don't know if I have done them already or not, but I might have. Anyway, yay, editing that out. But um, yeah, thank you all for just everything. And whoever has been here for a long time, you've known. Um, this is uh, going to be a really big uh, change compared to what it used um, from what it was before. Um, this channel is going to be going in a complete different direction from what it was, but it's going to keep all the same um, kind of goals. I'll talk about it in like a separate video, like, but I'm not going to be doing that right now. Um, right now, this is Havoc. This is just a little update on what's going, been going on. Havoc isn't ended. Aspire isn't ended. A lot of things aren't ended. I've just been kind of busy with things. Um, so, um, yeah. But I'm going to stop rambling on and I'm just going to be, I'm just going to end it here. So uh, thank you everybody who's been sticking around for all the time that you've been here. And this is not the cave. This is not the cave. Okay, then. Cool. Thought that was the cave. Guess not. But <laughs> thank you all for everybody who stayed here for however long you have. And people who have just subscribed, get ready for some really interesting things happening soon. Um... I'm tired, I need to go do a lot of things still, so um, I'm going to be running these out and hope these all go up on the right day, which should be the 7th. <laughs> it's past the 7th, it should be going up on the 11th, I'm sorry. Um, but thank you all for everything, you've really changed my life for the better and I cannot ever thank you guys enough. So um, yeah, on that I will be seeing you guys next time. And uh, I will be posting a new updated schedule for my videos and stuff. Eventually, I'll do a whole video explaining what's going to be changing on my channel. And my god, I keep on walking in circles. So I'm just going to stop walking. Anyway, thank you all for watching. <laughs> I need to stop rambling on about this and edit this. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Peace. Why did... Mm. Does she really want me to mine this whole thing? Oh, there's something here. Um. God damn it!